Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We're joined by head uh, gymnastics coach Jason Butts. Um, coach, if you just want to start us off with a quick opening statement um, to preview our home opener against home and Big 12 opener against Denver on Friday, uh, then we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Yeah, we're looking forward to being back in the Coliseum uh, this Friday night and uh, after starting out on the road this past weekend. So <clears throat> excited to welcome a uh, great team, you know, another Big 12 foe coming in with Denver uh, this Friday at 7. And um, really excited uh, for our fans to get to see everything. And, uh, you know, hopefully COVID and weather and everything else will uh, cooperate. Um, but uh, we're, we're looking forward to it and looking forward to fixing some of the mistakes we had last weekend. So um, I'm excited. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Just a reminder to use the raise hand feature when you're ready to ask a question. All right, I can start off. Um, just kind of going off of what you said there about uh, fixing the mistakes from last weekend. What has kind of been the focus in practice this week to um, fix those mistakes, but also not um, kind of focus too much on them, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. We, um, <clears throat> you know, so the, the issues for us last week uh, started during our warmups. Uh, you know, bars was our first event. It was the first event that we went to in warmups. And uh, we just had some really uncharacteristic mistakes during warmups. And uh, so I think we let our nerves get the better of us there, you know, first meet jitters. And uh, then when we got back over there, you know, the rest of our warmup went great. And I think we just once again let our nerves get kind of the best of us. You know, we didn't start off, um, you know, on a confident note during the warmup part of it. And that just kind of, you know, manifested itself in a poor performance on that event. Um, so what we've been doing in the gym this week is uh, I'm a big believer in when we make mistakes, we draw attention to those mistakes. You know, there's no sense in pretending like it didn't happen. So we've worked a lot on the consistency of our warm up turns uh, so that, you know, when we are, you know, getting going before even the, the public is there before the judges and uh, we're getting ready for that competition that we're making sure that we start off on a solid foundation of confidence. And uh, knowing that, you know, we're perfectly capable of doing all of these gymnastic skills, you know, all of these routines, that, that wasn't the issue. It's making sure that we're mentally prepped and ready to go. Going off of that, oh, we have um, a question. Chuck Curdy, you can go ahead. Hey, Jason, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, sir? Good. good. I'm, I'm going to go just a little off topic. I'm going to be that, that guy who breaks the flow of the, the news conference. Um, I want to ask you specifically about um, Abby Pearson, um, Pittsburgh area girl of interest to me. Um, you know, what, what is, what have you seen from her this season uh, as far as her improvements and what is, what, how is she going to help you now that the conference season is starting? Um, you know, Abby is uh, consistently consistent. You know, she is a very type A uh, personality. And um, we've seen that all fall from her. Her training has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, she came in the door ready to go uh, when classes started back in August. And she's worked very hard. She will be competing in all around this year, uh, something that'll be new for her. Um, she has basically relearned an entire new uneven bars routine. <clears throat> and uh, she just had a minor setback, really, uh, with COVID, um, you know, during the Christmas holidays, and that interrupted some of her training. So um, she has been incredible. You know, she's going to be uh, our biggest falter of the year. Her floor routine is dynamic. Her beam routine is very unique. And uh, I think we're going to see big things out of her. She's pretty calm and cool in competition. And uh, so we're just trying not to rush getting her into that all-around spot since it is going to be new for her. Um, but, you know, she's fully capable of putting up a 9.8, eight, nine, eight, five on every event, if not higher. And uh, so we're going to be relying on that big time, even more than we have, you know, her freshman and sophomore years. If I can just follow up on that real quick, what, what led to the decision to put her in the all around this year? Um, basically, you know, she's learned a very unique uh, uneven bars routine. It has some uh, pretty unique skills in it that you don't see a lot of. And um, she's worked very hard 
to get there. That's not her uh, strongest event, just, you know, most naturally. Um, but she has really put in the hours and, um, you know, the blood, sweat and the tears. And so she deserves to be in there. She actually was our highest scoring uneven bar routine from our fall uh, inter squad. And, um, you know, so that was a big confidence booster to her. And I anticipate, you know, that she more than likely is going to be looking to break into that lineup either this Friday night, if not the next weekend at Iowa State. I think without the COVID setback, she already would have been there. One more from me, Coach. Um, kind of talking about Abby a little bit and um, the rest of the our floor lineup. Obviously, um, at Towson on Friday, there was kind of kind of lost the momentum in the beginning, but brought it back. Talk about how the floor lineup was played a vital role in that um, kind of getting a big score and then going on to be ranked number four in both nationals. Yeah, you know our. <clears throat> the floor lineup uh, we knew coming into this was going to be strong. You know, it was something that Zakira really um, improved on last year for us as a coach, you know, returning to the program. Um, her choreography has been uh, just great. It's, it's simple, but they're able to show it off and it's showy and, um, and they're able to get it consistent. And then, you know, the, it's big tumbling passes. Uh, the routines are fun to watch. And uh, it's one of those, once it gets on a roll, um, you know, the energy just really starts to build. And that's what you want floor to be. Um, you know, floor is probably the, the event that the general public is, you know, most familiar with. And, uh, and that's where the athletes can really showcase their personalities. And, uh, you know, Travis and Z, you know, have been instrumental in working uh, with the tumbling on that and then the dance. And so just the whole package. And uh, I, I truly believe that we have one of the best floor lineups in the country. Um, it can absolutely be competitive at the national championships. Um, and it's full of athletes that, you know, could be all Americans. So we just have to get them positioned in a place to be able to do that. And that being said, I also have to, you know, bring up the balance beam. It's, it's tough to go from an uneven bars like we had straight into the beam and uh, Aggie, you know, that was the first time that she's, uh, opened up on beam for us and she was a rock star and, and you know that was definitely the pivotal moment in the competition where um, I would think I was most proud of them was for Aggie to be able to to hit that beam routine and then us start hitting after that there you know could have been a much different result and uh, but for them to turn it around at an away meet at the first meet and shake off those nerves and finish strong was great.